What's going on everybody? It's Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I always get a lot of messages from other YouTubers that ask, hey, I want to become a commentator. I want to know how to get started. What type of equipment do I need? What type of PC do I need? Do I need a Mac? What type of capture card I need? What type of mic I need? I always get bombarded with all of these questions, but it always comes down to what type of capture card you need. Now, if any of you guys have seen plenty of my other unboxings, you know that I've been rocking with the Elgato for some time now. But it's another thing on the market right about now. And that thing right now is called the Avermedia LGP. If you don't know what LGP means, just read the box. Live Gamer Portable. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be unboxing this bad boy and giving you guys a full review. Now... I've heard very, very good things about this. And the reason that they hit me up is because, hey, they want to steal my business. Elgato has had it for a while now, and I think Avermedia is trying to take that. So what I'm going to do is, as soon as I open this bad boy up, I'll hook it up to one of my game systems. I'm going to show you what it's all about. Now, one big thing that I want to say. Okay, I have a little disclaimer for you guys out there that love Max. It's a little, 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 little teensy weensy problem. You guys will not be able to use this capture card unless you install Windows on your computer. So for all those guys that love boot camp, has a lot of memory, and loves the specs that their Mac has, you might want to install Windows for this bad boy. But uh, enough of me talking. Let me open this thing up and let's get into this review. Now for all you guys that know how I get down, y'all know I'm always about that blade work. But the funny thing is, it didn't take much for me to open this actual box. All I had to do was cut off the edges and take off this little bitty plastic. I'm so mad I didn't get to use the nice blade, but it's all good. But let me open this thing up. Now, the first thing you might notice, if you can read this on a box, it says bonus three-month membership for XSplit. Now, <laughs> I know about XSplit, and they charge a lot. So um, for all you guys out there that like XSplit, that you know, want to live stream with XSplit, one of the best programs to live stream with for PC, you might want to go with it. Now, let's open up this little uh, packaging real quick. Let me move this out the way. Check this out. This is it. This is the capture card. Now, if any of you guys watch my Elgato unboxing, you guys would have seen a similar sized all black box, right? Now, let me compare that right quick. Let me pull out my handy dandy iPhone. Now, this is my iPhone with a charging case on it, a Mophie charging case. They are the same exact size. Like, now, I'm going to take the charging case off and I'm going to show you. That's my phone right there. Yes, I have the iPhone 4S. I didn't want to waste my money on a 5. <laughs> but they're just about the same size now that we got my iPhone out the way let me keep opening up the box real fast up oh, here goes my car for the uh, three month membership with X split so you know since this is on PC maybe I'm gonna have to bring my dinosaur Toshiba out <laughs> and I'll start recording now I'm gonna take out this little box with all the wires and stuff like that but before we do that let me clear the box which we have the quick startup and the manual so you know just a little bit of paper for you to read over but as long as you can look at the specs and you know how to install some firmware you should be good but uh let's open this up i can actually rip this open i'm sorry was was i wrong for that i'm sorry man i didn't get to use my knife i, I got mad but <laughs> but the first thing you guys might notice is this little bad boy comes with a carrying case. So let me open this up. <laughs> if you want to take this thing with you, like say say I go to work or something like that, and we playing Xbox at work. Job Turkey know all about that. I could take this with me, and I could just record a gameplay on the go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. <laughs> I had to go look and find a actual SD card because this packaging did not come with one. It's all good. I ain't tripping. But um, one thing that I did want to show you guys before I get into everything that came with it is a little engraving on this capture card that says iPod King Carter. Check that out. That's dope. They actually engraved it for me. But uh, let me show you guys everything that's on this table and I'll give you some insight on it. Now, this is an audio cable. 
this right here is for guys that's grabbing audio off of things unlike systems like xboxes and ps3s this is more of the pc route um the next thing is the hdmi cable it's a little skimpy but uh i think it's still usable mm, no not really this 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 cable is probably maybe a foot long but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. Now, the design, the red, the little red tips to match the actual capture card, cool. But it's a little bit too short. I'm guessing this is because this is for guys that lay their Xbox down on the floor instead of standing it up tall. But, you know, you're probably going to have to make that transition unless your gaming setup is already done. Now, uh, this little cord is of course the component uh cables if you guys have ps3s or you know anything or if you even have an old xbox and you want to use components and you don't have the HB hdmi adapter and stuff like that you're going to have to use this the next thing is they actually have the ps3 cord whereas though you stick this into the actual capture card and you stick this into the back of the ps3 and it'll be more of a uh, the avn and that is found right here so uh the last cable is the usb cable this is what powers the device unlike hd pvrs and more like the elgato gaming capture hd this powers through usb now uh the little capture the little capture card and the little sd card the thing about this is instead of you having to hook up to a computer as a source to save your information all you have to do is put in the SD card. Now this is for guys that need to capture quick gameplay, that don't want to set up everything to their computer, or if they go over to their friend's house and they try to capture off of another computer, you can do it like that by just using the SD card slot. Now um, they have the little uh, free PC mode, and of course the little play mode. Um, this little button right here, that's how you record. Um, you have the in and out audio, HDMI in and out, and the AVN. And uh, that right there is the USB so you can hook it up to the computer. Now uh, let me put this in a carrying case and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll be right back and I'll have this set up on my Xbox 360. Alright guys, now that I'm back I can actually show you the program that comes with the AverMedia Live Game Reportable. It's called AverMedia, I guess Record Central, but they try to shorten it so it's Recentral. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, we're going to actually look at the program for a second. Just to show you guys as if it's well worth it, if it's worth your time, if it's worth your money. So uh, let's check it out. Now, what I'm going to tell you guys is I do not have the strongest PC in the world. I'm on a Toshiba laptop. My specs are trash drug juice. I probably got about four gigs of RAM, if that. My processor, booty. <laughs> and uh, my storage space is probably like a 200 gig. So uh, let me just run over a few things with you guys. Um, they have something called Amateur, Newbie, and Pro. That's basically different settings that you could pick. Also, time shift is a big thing. Just like Elgato, you're able to go back in time on your gameplay, even if you're on a PC or on a console, and record gameplay that you didn't record at that moment. So, you know, if you get a crazy dunk in 2K, a crazy interception in Madden, a crazy quick scope in COD, anything, you can record it. Now, I loaded up Pro because, of course, I'm a gamer, I'm a commentator, I know what the settings are. My game console that is hooked up is an Xbox 360 with HDMI. You can record from your microphone and save the media file as a separate file. Now, Elgato, when you record, it all has to be one file. It's kind of a, a mother because you can't change the audio levels without changing the other. So, you know, if you want to raise your, your audio, then you're going to have to raise the gameplay and it sucks. Now, as it goes for the video settings, I'm recording with TS. Now, don't mind this. My computer is trash. That's what happens when you have a booty computer. But my settings is with TS. You can record an MP4 as well. 1080p is what I'm going to go with because I want to show you guys the maximum output of this recorder. Now, the audio bit rate, I know I'm ODing. I went to the highest. Now, the frame rate is a small problem. It's, it only maxes out at 30. Now, this is the thing. When you're on YouTube, when you pro when they start processing your video after upload, they automatically drop it down to 30 frames per second. So if you're recording in 60 frames, don't even think about saying, oh, 
I record in 60 frames per second. It goes on YouTube in 60 frames per second. That's a lie. They change it out. Now, for streaming, this is another big thing. You're able to stream to Twitch, Ustream. I don't know the third one. And I'm not sure if the custom RTMP is able to be compatible with YouTube. But you can also speed test, which is a good thing. So, just like the Elgato, so you're able to stream, you know, on some of the best streaming websites. Now, one thing I've saw on here is a video folder where you can automatically go to by just pressing a button instead of having to look for it by clicking start, search, or, you know, your folder and home name and all of that. It's just crazy. But what I'm about to show you guys is some actual footage of Call of Duty gameplay. Now, the reason that I picked this gameplay is because it's the most... How should I say? I don't know. I guess I guess you could say I move around way too much in Call of Duty. Unlike basketball and football, where it's you know stationary, you go up and down or side by side. This right here, you making you cutting hard rights, hard lefts. You know, you're backing up, you're speeding. You know, your gun is you know aiming down your sight so fast. You know, aiming in and out of sights. You know, drop shot in, hit firing, all of that. It's so many movements where you know it has to capture greatness. So let's jump right into that gameplay, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Now that I'm back, now that it's loaded. Let me load my complete silence uh, actual class. This right here is dead silence. All the all the best things to just run around, kill people without them even knowing it. You know what I'm saying? That, how you ever feel like when you kill somebody, be like, man, you ain't even know it. You know what I'm saying? You, they, just, they just get their head knocked off real quick with a headshot. And they're like, yo, who killed me? Oh, that guy. So let's talk about Aver Media as in gameplay oh that kill was crazy but let's talk about the aver media live game reportable in quality now you're watching a 1080p call of duty video in 30 frames per second right here right now if you haven't changed it to 1080p settings you might want to do that right now now i believe in my eyes that the color is much more richer than an Elgato or an HD PVR because it's like they lay like a little silk gray lining over the gameplay instead of having rich color like how the Aver Media has. Now, when I recorded this, my computer was running so slow that I didn't even know if it was actually capturing. But on the TV, it was capturing perfectly. There were no problems with the TV. I didn't have any little, you know, jumps and all of that. And the, the, the recorder didn't cut off on me. You know, it didn't overheat. None of that. It recorded perfectly. Now, when I rendered out this footage, I rendered it out in Power Director 11. Now, I know a lot of people was like, this guy's a noob for not having Sony Vegas. Oh, he's not hes not a pro. He doesn't have uh, Adobe After Effects. Well, let me tell you this. I had all of those programs on my PC at one point in time, but when I moved over to my Mac, I deleted everything. I cleaned the PC out, and I solely used it for letting my son watch Netflix on it. So I had to actually reinstall all those programs i even had to reinstall my uh screen recorder which is camtasia so it was a lot that i had to do in order to get this video set up so now let's talk more about the gameplay i guess you can see that you know none of the frames look like they're dropping you know it, it doesn't look buggy it doesn't look glitchy which means that the recording the recorded gameplay looks pretty good but there was one big problem. Now, I know that this had to do with my computer specs. When I tried to watch the gameplay in PowerDirector 11, I could not watch it in full HD. I could not watch it in HD. And I could not watch it in high quality. I could only watch it fully in normal and low quality, quality to be able to record a commentary. Because it was so laggy and it, it just wasn't working. So... What I did was, after I rendered it out, I rendered it into an MOV file. And I actually moved the file over to my Mac to actually see if everything was perfect. And when I moved it over to my Mac, I moved it into Final Cut Pro X. I was like, yo, this footage looks very crisp. Um, and I actually um, recorded another game with my Elgato. And the only thing, the only big thing that I saw was the color differences. Other than that, both of these, the Elgato, the Hallpog, the Aver Media, all three of those, they all basically record the same. It's just the plus with 
um, in Elgato over in HD PVR is you don't have to use a alternate power source, you know, which is the wall charger. Now, the plus in Aver Media over the Elgato is that you can record PC gaming. Now, I'll be getting more into the PC gaming a little bit later, but I just want to give you the pros and cons. Now, like I said, the pro over the Elgato is that you can record PC um, gaming, but the con is that you can only use it with a PC. Now, like I said in my unboxing video, Elgato, you can use a Mac and you can use a PC. But with Aver Media, you can only use it with a PC, but you re you can record on any console and you can record PC gaming. So for all these guys out here that have Steam accounts that are hardcore PC gamers, I mean to the soul, you guys will probably do better with the Aver Media Live Game Reportable than you would with an Elgato. Now, let me tell you about Fraps. Fraps records in 60 frames per second. It's a pretty good game. Um, I mean, not game, a pretty good program. And, you know, some people pirate it, get it for free and things of that nature. But can you say that you can go over to your friend's house, right? and say, yo, man, I've been playing Call of Duty for like a week now. I ain't been getting no good gameplay. I'm ass at this duty. And then your friend says, oh, well, I got an 80 kill gameplay right here, right now. And you so happen to have your Aver Media game, um, live game portable. And you're like, yo, you got that, you got that gameplay? All right, well, let me record that joint real quick. And he like, nah, man, I ain't trying to have you hook up all these cores and all that. And you say, oh, no, I just got my USB cord. And he like, huh? And you like, yeah, because I have a 64 gig SD card inside of my live gamer portable and I can record anything I want and store it on a uh, SD card. So that's another big plus. You can't do that with the Elgato. You can't do that with the HD PVR, but you can do it with the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Now, me personally, I'm always on the go and I know this for a fact. But I'm always scared to take my Mac to work. So if I were able to get like a, a high powered PC and, you know, actually just grab gameplay from different places that I go and, you know, like like anywhere, just anywhere, for instance, like say I go to another 2K team up and they say, yeah, man, you know, um, we got this gameplay, but, you know, we don't have any way to get it to you because it's a big file. And I say, yo, I got my Aver Media right here. I can I can actually, you know, get the gameplay from you, store it on the card and go play with it when i get home and whatever editing program i have so that's a very big plus so pc gamers with steam accounts you would love it because you can also play on your console and you can play on your pc as well but um i think i've said enough you know i gave you guys enough pros and cons if you're on a pc and you're and you're a diehard pc gamer aver media is probably the way to go if you're into you know max and stuff like that but you love boot camp you can also use this but this is IKC signing out. I hope I said enough, and I'm going to at you guys in the next video. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching, and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.